SEO or search engine optimization is one of the best ways to build long-lasting traffic to your website with high keyword intent. People know what they're looking for when they discover your website, which makes them much more likely to sign up for your email list and purchase your products. But there is a problem is that once you write the article, the real job is on interlinking all those articles together, building up these amazing content silos to build trust and authority. So in this video, I wanna give you a tip, a like a cheat code when it comes to building really high quality interlinks inside of your website, and it's by showing you a tool called Link Whisper. And if you're using search engine optimization to drive traffic into your funnels, I would like to invite you to download my free funnel blueprint. You can get that by going to unbeatabletech.com slash blueprint. It's a 30 page PDF that allows you to fill in all of your content strategies to build out a better funnel for your website. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the whiteboard and first explain the benefits and how interlinking all works in the eyes of Google. All right, so I'm showing my screen here. And if we think about your website as being this island, this silo, this is your blog, right? On that blog, there are all these different articles. Here's post number one, post number two, post number three. And each one of these might be going after a specific keyword to get found on Google. But what happens is this. When you start writing these articles, maybe this one is 2,000 words. is a really high-quality, well-written article. But if it's just there in an island, when people search for a website or a search for a solution to a problem, they're going to go to Google, and they're going to search for that key term. Now, Google has a ton of ranking factors, things that uh, will promote certain websites and not other websites. But one of the key ones is how many links, how many authoritative links between blogs there are. So for example, if this is just sitting out on an island, if nobody really knows this guy exists and nobody cares about him and gives him any love, Google's not going to really trust that blog article as much as it would if it had a link between another related article and another one over here, and then uh, similarly, blog post number two, if you want to create links between all your articles, it just creates this web of trust, this web of authority that Google can use to its benefit. Now, this can obviously be done manually. You can go through, and let's just draw this again. Every time you write an article, let's say you've got article one, you've got article two, and article three, when you write article two, let's say, the second article on your website, you can link back to article number one, no problem. And then when you write article number three, you can try your best to link back to article number two and article number one the best you can. But it's actually trickier than that because unless you want to go back every time you write a new article, let's say you go to article number four, now you've got the problem of two-way linking because article number one here hasn't had much luck. It hasn't had much love in a while. So when you write article number four, you need to link this way, you need to link that way, this way. That way, it gets to be extremely manual and confusing. So I'm going to show you a tool now that you understand problem of interlinking. I'm going to show you Link Whisper. It's a WordPress plugin. It is super cool, and we're going to show you how it works in this video. All right, so we're here on linkwhisper.com. You can see that I actually have a special $20 off right now, but there should also be a special coupon code in the description for Unbeatable Tech, so you can check that out if you want to give this thing a try. And their tagline is very simple, building smarter internal links just got easier, and it truly has gotten easier. So you can read through what they do here, but what I love about them is their link suggestion engine, and it's two ways. It, it solves both those problems. When you write a new article, it'll link to all your other articles, and also it will look into all of the articles on your website and give recommendations to the new article you just wrote. It is a phenomenal time saver, especially if you're using tools like Conversion AI or Jarvis to crank out a ton of high quality content fast. This right here just juices up one more level when it comes to SEO. All right, so that's an idea of what this oh, tool does. Let's go ahead and go into an article that we wrote yesterday that needs to be topped off and, and completed. And we have this article here on startamonblog.com called What is a Personal Blog and Examples of How to Start. So we wrote this article yesterday and we published it just to get it out there, but we're not done with it yet. It's got images, it's got headers, it's got great structure, it's going after the right keywords, it's doing a lot of things. But if you notice here, there's very few links on this actual blog post. This is not very good. Google's gonna see this and it's like, they didn't really do their due diligence, they didn't really link through it correctly, so let's fix that right now. There's a very easy way to do that. We're gonna go into edit post. I already have Link Whisper installed on this website, which I love, and any blog I'm gonna be installing this web, uh, this tool on 100%. And let me hide my face here. And so now we're here on the normal WordPress block editor. If you scroll on down to the bottom, let's get all the way to the bottom here. 
Okay. You'll see this new section called Link Whisper Suggested Links. And you can also put in custom keywords if you'd like to, but we'll skip over uh, some of those features. I just want to show you the main benefit I get from this tool in this video. So down here, it'll show you add internal outbound links. Now, if we go back to the whiteboard, those outbound internal links are these guys. So if we're looking at this article here, the outbound links are how article number three links over to article number two and article number one and article number four. All right, so this is a huge time saver because if, if you're building out good content on your website, you know that it's going to be linking, it's going to, you're going to include keywords that will relate to other content on your website. But if you have hundreds of blog posts, it's going to be really difficult to keep track of all of those keywords and which articles should be linked to, and it's just time consuming. So check out what this does. This basically scans your entire website, and it looks for kind of, they call it AI, I don't know if it's really AI, but they're looking for kind of keywords that might make sense to link to. So it'll give you a blurb from your blog post. This is actually written up above in your words, and it says you don't need experience, and you can keep your current job if you'd like to think of this as a side hustle, okay? Now it automatically links up the term side hustle, and it gives us a recommendation to another article that's also on our blog, which is Best Side Hustle Ideas for Moms in 2021. That is a perfect recommendation. Linking in Side Hustle, they might not know what Side Hustle is, so they can click on it, and it'll open up the list of Side Hustle Ideas, which is perfect. So I'm going to check this one because I like that recommendation. And then I will have the next recommendation here. There may be many reasons why you start a personal blog and that uh, links over to best personal blogs. So you can see here, this is doing a great job. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly go through the rest of these recommendations. You can see what it is, but I don't wanna waste your time. And I'll give you a recap once, we, once I've gone through and added in the appropriate outbound links. Another thing that I really love about this uh, tool here is it has the ability to edit the sentence. So here's a recommendation that I really like. But based on the link it's linking out to, I feel like I need to adjust this blurb a little bit. So instead of diving into the post and finding this in the article itself, I'm gonna click on the edit sentence button. And you see it's gonna pop up a small little editor where you can make a small little tweak to this snippet. So once you have content on your website and you're ready to start sharing it, I would highly recommend growing your email list. So that's a great sentence. It's linking out perfectly to how to create a printable to grow your email list but I wanna change this text a little bit. So I would say I would highly recommend building a high, a valuable free printable and growing your email list. All right, and I'll just hit save. And this is actually going to change the text inside my blog post to include that snippet and link out to the article. All right, I'll keep on working through this list and come back. So I've gone through the entire article. I've skimmed through the recommendations. You can see here, it's got a ton of recommendations. If I checked the box, it means I think that's a good recommendation. I took it. I also have gone through and made some adjustments here. You can see you can actually select which article it links to. If you think there's a better recommendation, it gives you like three or four recommendations if it sees a good fit there. And now all you have to do to add all these links in, remember, here is the blog post right now where not a whole lot of link juice, not a whole lot going on here, just a, a lot of text, right? So I'm gonna go and say insert links in the post and let's just watch that magic. Now it says the post has been updated. So all I should have to do, let's just let this finish doing its thing. Boom, now you can already start to see more links and it says links have been added successfully. Now I wanna duplicate this tab just so we can see the before and after, all right? So this is the before kind of scroll through this blog post. Let me just uh, zoom in a little bit for you. Oof, too much. This is the before, not a lot, right? Now here's the after. All right, so on the, on the after here, already we have a couple links in the first couple of paragraphs, another couple of links here, another few links. And again, these are all linking to different relevant articles that are already here on our WordPress website. This is huge for SEO. And you can see as we go into a list, if we have a, a guide on that specific type of blog, then we link out to it. I mean, this is phenomenal, right? This is gonna be a huge help, and we did that in about two minutes after the article was already written. So that is half of the beauty of this tool, Link Whisper, and if you think this is pretty cool, please click on the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be notified when I release new awesome content like this. Now, let me show you the second nice thing about Link Whisper. So we're gonna go into our editor again. We're gonna go right on back down to where we were, 
and show you the second part. Remember from our whiteboard before, that those were outbound links linking out to other articles from this article. Now let's do the reverse. Let's link to this article from all the other blog posts on our website. So I'll click over to add inbound links here, and I'll click on this button guy, and it'll open up a new screen. And what this is doing in the background is it's looking through our entire WordPress website, looking through all the blog posts, and it's doing the exact same thing it just did on the previous screen, where it's giving recommendations from all the other blogs to link into this brand new blog post. This is a huge time saver because it essentially prevents you from having to go back to an article you wrote two years ago just to update with the latest article you just did. That's obviously not a sustainable method to interlink, so this solves that problem. So now we'll kind of show you a couple of recommendations so you can see how this works. And it, it'll look very similar where if you like the recommendation, you can check it. If you don't like the recommendation, you just leave it unchecked. And let's read through a couple here. While we, there can be similarities between a lifestyle blog versus a personal blog, there are the two are actually quite different. Okay, that's perfect. So this article, or that, that little snippet, comes from our article called What is a Lifestyle Blog? And you can see the categories, you can see the current link structure that this is a well-linked article already. You can even link to it, or, or you can like take a look at it over here. And let's find the snippet so you can see what's happening. So I'll copy that there. I'll pull up that blog post. And let's find that bit of text. Here we go. So you can see here, while there are similarities between a lifestyle blog versus a personal blog, and this would be a perfect place to link to this brand new article, right? Because this new article is about personal blogs. So I'll come back over. Let me just review what the other uh, ideas are. Blog as a personal blog. No, it's perfect. So I'm going to click on this guy, choose the check bar box, and as soon as I hit save, this is now going to link over in that blog post. And let me show you one more. Let's dive into some of the fun examples of personal blog sites that you should check out. Again, okay, well, this is actually in the best personal blogs. So it's a roundup post, but this is a, a, this is smart. So it's going to take us to the post we just wrote, which is what is a personal blog, and it's going to link to it from a list post of the best personal blogs. So this is obviously a good recommendation. I'll include this as well. And now I'll go ahead and fast forward to save you guys some, some time and, and monotony. But this is exactly how it works. This is very, very powerful stuff. I'll be right back once I'm done reviewing the list. You know, one little pro tip about this tool as well is as you're going through this list, this is a great little mini audit you can do on the rest of the content on your website. As an example here, we have one suggestion of blog post examples. And if I go and just kind of skim the inbound and outbound link, so that means that 26 blogs on my website are linking to this article. And this article is only linking out to five other blogs or blog posts in this article. So I am going to make a notepad of little things I see. And then I'll just go through the, the exact same process of going through that article and adding outbound links using Link Whisper. So this gives you both uh, you know, the short-term benefit of setting this up for the article you're working on, but it also organically creates this kind of recursion, that this you looking through what you've already done to make sure that you're always on top and, and do the, you know, the low-hanging fruit on your website. All right, so I've gone through the list, and it was a long list because this website does have a ton of articles on it already, and I would never have been able to go through this in a single day if it weren't for this tool. So now I'm just going to click on Add Links, and this is doing the exact same thing. It's going through all the other blogs on our websites and making small little updates to add that link to link to this brand new article that we just published yesterday. All right, and we get the happy little check mark, the success links have been added successfully. And just to verify, I'm gonna go into one of them. So this was the article about the lifestyle versus a personal blog. So I'm gonna copy this paragraph and refresh the screen. And boom, look at there. It, it's already linked up, and now if I click on that link, it goes into the article we just published. All right, so there you go, guys. That's my full review of Link Whisper. If you're interested in getting started, you can get going for $57 for the full year. And I have to admit, like it, it's going to save you so much time. You know, One of the most important things you can do is keep to a consistent publishing schedule, whether that's on video or in blog posts. And if you choose the blogging route, if you can publish an article every day or every other day for a year and then interlink them as you're working through that process, you're going to be leaps and bounds above your competition by the end of that year. But if you're just putting out pithy posts that don't interlink with each other, you're put, leaving a lot of opportunity on the table. And that's exactly where Link Whisper comes in. So $57 to get started. That's, again, with their $20 off coupon. And there might be a better deal down below. So check it out. 
And uh, that is it, guys. And if you have multiple websites, you can go for just $40 more, get three sites or 10 sites for $147. I think it's personally worth it. I did not see any slowdown or any negatives on my website at all when I did it. It just made my workflow better. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to click that subscribe button and the bell and all that cool YouTube stuff. And be sure to check out the free funnel blueprint at unbeatabletech.com slash blueprint. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.